What's the matter with you, huh? This is no time to go on a raid, Christopher. Not with the indictment shit coming down. Take Georgie, go in the bathroom, sweep for bugs, okay? Come on. Well, I hope they'll be all right. Who? The guys. Well, what about me? You'll be all right. They didn't even mention your name on television. Fucking amazing, though, huh? You know what? That news guy, he said the words Brendan Falone. I'm telling you, the hair's in the back of my neck. He fucking stood up. I mean, I knew the guy. It made him look like John fucking Gotti. I brought him around here. Tony wouldn't have never known him if it wasn't for me. Huh. I had no idea. Hey, did you ever see that uh, picture of Galante dead with a cigar hanging out of his mouth? No. It's a fucking beautiful hit. Huh? Sorry, Tony. I'm... <laughs> you probably knew the guy, huh? <laughs> How fucking old you think I am? <laughs> you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. But I gotta know. Did you ever meet John Gotti? Yeah. I knew John. Whoa, fuck! What was he really like? Remember Bungalow Bar? The ice cream trucks? Like good humor. Except the trucks, they had their bungalow roofs on, hmm? Was Gotti a silent partner in all that thing? Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. Just know that when a company folded and they were auctioning off the last bungalow bar truck, one with the peaked roofs, you're right, Coos. Coos. <laughs> well, they were auctioning off the last bungalow bar truck, and I wanted it as a souvenir. Gotti outbid me. Gave me a ride home. You know, he rang that bell the whole way home. I gotta think about this. Look, T, if my vote counts for anything, I cannot believe that pussy would feed a can enough to hurt his friends. That's what they said about Gravano. Why don't you just sit on that nice pile of cash you got? My finances are nobody's goddamn business. Yeah, and that garbage is my business. And I don't want you and that other shitbird fucking it up. <laughs> Your business? Yeah. Why don't you get that to that bald dome of yours? Why does everything have to be so difficult? You know, back in the 50s, we, we worked together. Even rival families settled their differences amicably. Oh, yeah. I remember that picture of Albert on the stage. You're lying there all amicable on the barbershop floor. There were exceptions. Who am I best off with? We best off with. Old man Profaci knew how to split his enemies. He couldn't fucking sell it. He's not respected. But Tony, with his impulsiveness and selfishness, he's locked up in that fucking head of his. I'm better off with Tony. Definitely. I want to see Anthony at the doctor's office tomorrow. What are you looking at? I'm in awe of you. Dan and me and the kids, you know how much we love Florida, right? What, do you want to put some money on the street down there? I was thinking about buying a place in Fort Myers. Retiring there, actually. Retiring? What are you, a hockey player? I'm going to be 50 in three years, Tom. My dad died at 52. You took an oath, Gene. There's no retiring from this. Well, I, I thought about that. And there was Joe Bananas. <laughs> Come on. Huh? We got a crystal meth. 
Pagres Guayo. Say what you will about Richie April. But when he found out his son was gay, he did the right thing. He disowned him. I got an AA meeting. Alcoholics fucking anonymous now, too. <laughs> Salvatore Lucania must be looking down on all of us with great pride. How's the anti-terror going? Great. If you don't like sleeping, eating, or seeing your kids. Listen, those Arabs from the Bing. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you the truth. They're in Jordan, right? Getting their balls zapped? Well, you're not gonna tell me? I'm not really sure. For all we know, they may be harmless pistachio salesmen. And don't get so bent out of shape. You're a big boy, Tony. You know, World War II, your, uh, your outfit protected the Brooklyn Navy Yard. I think Roosevelt told Vito Genovese where Hitler was holed up. Go fuck yourself. What's up? Phil Yotardo. The calls were made to Zips. They're coming over from Naples. You contact the guy to contact the guys. Phil's at his gomadas every Friday night. Do you know about this? What? What kind of question is that? Watch your fat fucking mouth. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What are you concerned about? I lived through the 70s by the skin of my nuts when the Columbos were going at it. There ain't a bigger cocksucker than Phil Leotardo. I just want to make sure somebody knows there could be a line of Cazzarellis a mile long. Duly noted. So there's no problem then. 